Good morning guys. Another cup of coffee. Another day back out here in the studio. And what I'm doing is I'm putting together my fire bag. Um, it's that time of year. Fire season is upon us. It's good to have all your gear vetted, stowed, ready to go. Um, what I usually do is I go through a series of gear that I carried last year and I decide was it worth it? Should I carry it again? Is that a piece of gear I want in my kit? You know, size and space is limited. You know, things you're going to need, socks and underwear for 14 to 21 days. You know, your tools, your shelter. You got your basic core necessities you need. And then there's the sort of nice-to-haves that make your job easier. One of the ones I carried last year that I've been using this last, well, since last fire season. I got it last June. Is this uh, Jetstream flashlight. Let's uh, take a look on the table and see what we got. All right, guys, what do you have in front of you is the Jetstream. It's the WL20, and this actually got quite a bit of hype last year. And I know I'm going to start out by saying that this has been basically a one year in the use review, not an open the box. If you guys have been watching my channel uh, or following me for any length of time, you know that I can't stand doing open the box videos. Uh, Jetstream themselves wanted me to do the video very quickly. One, in the middle of fire season, really couldn't afford to get that done. And of course, want to get more testing in on this flashlight. So, had this for about a year. All right, coming in close, the WL20, you can tell it's a little bit different than a lot of your standard flashlights. Very large head on the top. It is an 1860 form factor in the battery. It is a tail click switch. We'll talk about that in a second. Nice O-rings, good construction. Pretty simple. What makes this guy unique is the head here let me spin her around all right staring down double barrel there of their uh led emitter it is a nice smooth reflector i got some decent distance on this we'll put in some pictures here and some run times and things like that but what it makes unique is as the head clicks you can hear that very positive click each click is turning on a different emitter. There's the red mode, white mode, green mode. All right, now I mentioned the tail cap is a standard switch, but there's also two secondary switches on each side. And that's how you're gonna go through the different modes. All right guys, red on low, this is during the day on the inside of my garage, but if I kick it up to high, you can see very intense, very tight pattern. You know, if you're out there actually looking for things, very cool, I really enjoyed that. And then we'll just switch over to white mode. White mode gives you low, medium, high. Really nice throw on this guy. And of course, if we switch it back over to green, again, like I said before, I really wish green had one more than one setting, uh, but green is just green. Uh, I will throw in some photos here of when I used it last year. Um, had I had a chance during night shift to get some outside photos. If you need something like this, I would highly look at it. I mean, photographers, if you guys know your night vision and the way your eyes work at night, um, you know, anytime I'm working night shift, it's one of the things that I really wish that I had red light on my headlamp because I'm constantly going to super moonlight mode uh, just to help keep my night vision at bay. But uh, very cool product. Jet Beam, I've got a few other flashlights that I've done over the years. I'm not worried about their quality. That tail switch is a little tricky. I'm hoping that it's just my sample that I got. If you guys have this or are looking for this, give me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the idea of this form factor of a flashlight. Let me know what you think of the price point and whether you would buy it or not. I look forward to hearing from you. This is Beast with the Jet Beam WL20. We'll see you guys down the road. Thanks for all the love and support. You guys are amazing. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the adventure on social media, and we'll see you on the road.